What is going on traders? Welcome back to The Traveling Trader. Happy Tuesday to you. Hope you guys are doing well today. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet to this channel and hit that notification bell if you will. So what I wanted to talk about today was Ethereum and why there are some impending signs of concern for Ethereum. And I don't want to say that, you know, we're due for a crash or a flash crash, but why I think Ethereum might be pulling back or correcting soon. But before I do that, let us get into the cryptocurrency overall market health. We're currently sitting at 180.3 bill, still teetering in that level. If you remember, I went over the cryptocurrency total market cap chart in my last video or might have been the video before and i was saying that these conditions resemble what we saw back in 2014 2015 where we've tried to pierce through the 21 month ema three or four times before finally punching through which is the same thing that we saw back here in 2015 but here you know we do have similar rsi levels the macd is coming from being majorly oversold and we see the macd crossover and this great volume coming in as well so everything points to the possibility of us at least hitting 200 billion on the market cap i still believe that is the case and this 21 week ema should hold for that to remain the case if we fall below this then we could get back to the 130 billion territory that we've seen for quite a long time towards the end of 2018 and all of 2019. Looking back at the market cap, there were a couple of trade alerts that we did send out in the last week or so. TRX were up almost 10% on TRX since entering at the at the the support that we see here, the support level. This is long time support going all the way back to April. And we see that TRX is now bouncing off it again, just so happens to be at the 0.618 Fib level as well. Theta, we sent out a trade alert for Theta last night and made 10% on that trade alert, bouncing off of historical support that has been that has been the support since early February 2019. If you want access to the trade alerts and you'll get trades like these and others, link is in the description as well. If you sign up to the Diamond Traders and above, you get the stock trade alerts as well as the you're automatically entered for the 0 0.03 Bitcoin drawing that I do on the first of every month. So if you want to be a part of that, sign up. Link is in the description. Looking at Bitcoin, Bitcoin on the one day is comfortably trading above the 200 day moving average. We see the cross obviously between the 50 and the 100. A couple of things to note here, the on balance volume is steadily rising. This is a great sign. We haven't seen this since really 2017. The on balance volume all of last year has either been declining or has been flat as you see here in these tight ranges. But we are now seeing the on balance volume rising, meaning that more interest is coming back into Bitcoin. Shorts are pretty low. I think that the short sellers are afraid to short at the moment because they don't know what Bitcoin is going to do. So shorts remain at, at a low here. You do see we are majorly overbought on the RSI and the stochastic. The RSI actually hasn't been this overbought since 2017, since the famous bull run. So that is a little bit concerning because it does indicate that we might see a pullback or correction soon. Hopefully, if we do see a pullback, if we can stay above the 200-day MA, this green line here, then we will have a tight range between 4,600 and 5,300 for Bitcoin's price. And I think we will stay in that range for quite a while. If you notice, Bitcoin does have an insane ability to trade sideways. We see this tight range from December 2018 all the way until you know the first of this month. Uh, if you remember last year, there was that really tight range between September and almost December, September, and November, where it was trading between, you know, 6,200 and, and 6,700 or 6,600, somewhere around there. So Bitcoin does have a an insane ability to trade sideways. And if we do fall, you know, to the, the 200 day MA, I think we'll bounce between this range for quite a while before Bitcoin tries to find new ground. Looking at the weekly, you'll see that we are forming this rounding bottom now. Actually, this looks like, looks almost like an, an Adam and Eve, right? You see this, this sharp drop and this rounding bottom and they, they are almost around the same, they're almost touching around the same bottom level. So this would be considered, uh, you know, an Adam and Eve. But either way, you know, whether you're talking about a rounding bottom or an Adam and Eve, either way, they are both potentially bullish patterns where you do tend to see a price rally from there. 
we might see some heavy resistance at the hundred or the uh, 50 week moving average, which is this orange line here. And that would support a move to around 5,500 before seeing some resistance and potentially dropping back down to that 4,600 level that I was talking about on, on the daily. Either way, what I see for Bitcoin is a period of resistance and continuation before either a move up if we keep getting more volume or a complete rejection of the price and we'll see the short start to increase as we get rejected back down to 4,000 or below. It really all depends on volume and if we can keep getting market interest, retail market interest into Bitcoin. Now looking at Ethereum, here's why I was saying that I was a little alarmed by Ethereum. So let me just hide the shorts real quick. So if you look at Ethereum, you know, on the surface, everything looks good. You see the ascending triangle, the breakout from the ascending triangle. You know, you see the above average volume coming in intermittently. You see the cross between the 50 and the 100. The 50 is moving towards the 200. And you're like, you know, Ethereum looks good. What's, uh, what's the cause for concern here? Well, the reason that it, the, the couple of, of markers that I see on Ethereum that are a cause for concern is one of them is the almost all time low uh, shorts. Now, I, going back to, you know, as far as the data that I have here for the Bitfinex shorts on Ethereum, this is the all time low. Now the shorts are at an all time low because if you notice here when the shorts were at a swing high, and this might've been the all time high for shorts, yeah. So Ethereum shorts were at an all time high when Ethereum was in the 80, you know, between 80 and $90 range price. So the market sentiment for Ethereum was terrible. And the reason that, you know, or part of the reason that we see the, the shorts at an all time low, and you saw the short sharp decline here, is because Ethereum jumped from $81 to, you know, where it's at today, around $176. And that propelled a series of short squeezes along the way. So the aggressive bears on Ethereum were shorting Ethereum at the, at the wrong time and a little bit of volume coming in as we see here on the on balance volume a little bit of volume coming in propelled a series of short squeezes and now we're at an all-time low on shorts we will most definitely see these shorts start to rise as as the price of ethereum rises now the other thing that concerns me here is the on balance volume so this we're seeing some divergence between the price here which made a higher high let me change the color of this marker, right? So the price made a higher high and you could see that the on balance volume is actually decreasing. This is something that I don't like seeing. That means that this, this price up wasn't supported by increased interest in Ethereum buying. So this price move is, is likely to break down. We are also overbought on the RSI and this is the highest level since the bull run that we saw in 2017, where the start of the market crash happened. Also, the market has a tendency to surprise people, right? So I, I think just based on reading different articles and tweets and seeing you know, YouTube videos and whatnot, the, the main sentiment around Ethereum is somehow bullish. So when everybody thinks that a coin or a security is going to do something, it usually has a way of surprising us. Now, it very well could trade close to 200 and then fall back down a short start to increase. Again, I, 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 you know, I'm not trying to spread FUD. Is that even still a word in 2019? Uh, and I'm not going to say that, you know, we're going to see a crash, but there are alarming signs like the, the divergence, the bearish divergence between the volume and the price here, as well as the shorts being at an all time low, as well as the RSI being the most overbought that, that it's been in over a year. To me, all that points to a further price decline in Ethereum. And if we do fall below, you know, the 200 day MA here, which is around 150 bucks, then I think we will see a further dive back down to perhaps the, the double digits. One more thing I will say is that yes, this pattern that we see here recently is an ascending triangle that has been broken to the upside. But, you know, with TA, you generally want the, the most data that you can get and, and you want to follow the trend that is the most likely. So that means a trend that has a, you know, longer time standing than, than the current trend, a trend that has been valid for a longer time than the current one that you see. So if you do look at the larger trend, you'll see that Ethereum here is forming a bearish pennant.
right? And we are now forming a pennant, which is a continuation pattern, especially in a bearish trend that will most likely break down towards the downside in the future. And I'll conclude by saying this, you know, TA is not about fortune telling or saying, oh, I was right or no, I wasn't wrong because of this. As I said, Ethereum could very well uh, you know, upend everything that I just said here and continue a rally to, to 250. This is a market at the end of the day, and you can't predict momentum as accurately as you think you can. But what TA is about is making sure that you have a roadmap for how to set your trades up, right? So just to, to look out for this stuff is really important because it allows you to be prepared if and when Ethereum, say Ethereum does start crashing, what is your exit strategy? What is your exit plan? Are you just going to watch your portfolio bleed if you hold Ethereum? Or are you going to take the proper steps to exit your trade successfully? It also allows you to figure out where you should be placing your stop limits if and when Ethereum does crash and, and fail some of these patterns. It allows you to figure out where you should set up your shorts, where you should close your shorts, etc. So TA is just about providing you a roadmap and making sure that you are prepared for potential upcoming moves. It's not about guessing right or wrong or being able to fortune tell the market. Nobody can fortune tell the market, okay? So my analysis here should be seen as a possibility of what might come based on the indicators that we see, and that will allow you to better set up your portfolio for potential future moves. Anyway, that is it for this video. Again, if you want access to the trade alerts, link is in the description. If you need help with your technical analysis or want one-on-one -on -one coaching, that link is also in the description. Leave a comment or a question in the comment section below. Hit the video with a thumbs up if you got anything out of this video. Subscribe to the channel. Stay safe out there. Peace.